The herb of the week is my favorite herb of all time. And it's not just because it's my name, like literally it's my name, um, but ginger root. <laughs> It's a new month, so that means we got a whole new set of herbs. Hello, hello, hello. It's Herb of the Week time. And we are, I think this will be the last, I think this is the last Saturday in July. I think it is. Anyway, um, but anyway, we are closing out July, which is Heart Chakra Month, and um, this has been a really, it's been good, you know what I'm saying? We all need to open up that chakra, that heart chakra. So, um, we are ending the month with motherwort, and I actually thought it was pretty cool, because I wasn't really sure exactly which herb I was going to do this week, but the timing of it works out, because I believe we are now in Leo season, and motherwort um, the Latin name of it is um, Leonoris Cardiaca, so cardiac heart, works in the heart, but it's known as the lion's heart herb, so I thought that was appropriate for our Leo lions, happy birthday for those Leos. Um, anyway, um, it's known to, what how I learned about it in school was that mother wart is like getting a mother's hug. That's how it feels when you take it. It just feels like, a, you know when a mom hugs you, it just feels, feels good. Um, I'm not saying every mother, but a lot of mothers makes, do some, they, they have good hugs and it makes you feel comforted. And a lot of times when our heart chakra is acting up, that's because we are not feeling safe. We are not feeling, um, you know, we're not feeling comfortable and at ease. And sometimes a mother's hug can make you feel at ease. So they call it a mother's hug in a bottle. And um, the lion heart piece comes obviously from its name, but it's meant to nourish the heart. That's what this herb does, nourishes the heart. And it um, helps you deal with like grief, anxiety, tension, but it basically gives you the heart of a lion. So a calm yet strong heart, that's what it means. So anyway, I'm very super excited to, to talk about it. So this is what it looks like. Yep, that is it. Um, and so I'm going to read from my reference manual and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. But mother wart is a calming nervine, so that means it helps the nerves, used to lower blood pressure and as a remedy for heart problems that are related to the nervous system. It relieves anxiety and nervousness and contains glycosides that temporarily lower blood pressure and ease the strain on heart muscles. This also makes it useful for tachycardia, you know, when you have like uneven heartbeats, um, heart palpitations, and preventing heart disease. Motherwort is useful for hot flashes, menstrual cramps, scanty menstrual flow, and vaginal pain characterized by weakness, nervous irritability, and stress. Um, its warnings are to avoid during pregnancy and menstruation with excessive bleeding. Now, I'm going to say that's a warning, but I know that motherwort is commonly used um, um, right after pregnancy. And I will talk a little bit more about that. But during pregnancy, they say don't use it because it actually promotes menstrual flow. And that's not what you want during pregnancy. Um, energetics are that it's cooling, drying, and relaxing. That's what we need, relaxing. Properties are that it's anti-arrhythmic, cardiac, aminagog, which aminagog means it promotes menstrual flow, hypotensive, meaning it helps with lowering blood pressure um, and cholesterol, actually, um, sedative, and a vasodilator. It helps to open up that blood flow, I mean, let the blood flow. It's 
it's dosage form. So standard infusion, so a tea, two to four ounces, one to four times daily, or a tincture, you can do a fresh leaf with a one to two ratio, 95% alcohol. Dried leaf, one to five ratio, 60% alcohol. You would take one to four milliliters three times daily. So, mother wart, the mother's hug. Um, it's a super cool herb and it's very commonly used for women who, um, for women, for mothers in particular. And I think it's because there's so many responsibilities and roles that moms play um, in a household that a lot of times we have heart issues, physical heart issues due to the fact that we have too much stress and tension in the body. So um, men can use this herb, don't get me wrong, but it's mostly commonly used for women um, who, have, who have children, particularly young children. And it's used a lot for women postpartum. So um, because it works as an amenagogue, it's great for uh, getting, um, well, one, for promoting labor. So if you're pregnant and you're like kind of at the third, you know, the 38, 39, 40, or if you've gone longer and you haven't, you know, um, you're not even dilated yet, it's good for kind of getting that going. So that's one reason it's used, which is why you wouldn't want to use it early in pregnancy. And two, after pregnancy, if you're having delayed afterbirth, which is very dangerous, um, it's good for promoting afterbirth. And it's also known to help with postpartum depression. So that's why I was saying it's very helpful to use right after birth because that is such a critical time right after birth um, where your emotions are crazy. And we know that there's physiological changes in the hormones that can cause um, postpartum depression. And this herb actually helps to combat that. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, it increases appetite. So, you know, sometimes that's actually a really good thing. And a lot of people who are trying to lose weight are like, well, I don't know why that's a good thing. Well, because a lot of times we have an appetite, but for the wrong things. So sometimes increasing your appetite and eating more healthy foods can actually help you lose weight. So um, sometimes if, if trying to not eat a lot and you still ain't losing weight isn't working, then try the opposite. Um, to start eating a lot of the right things. It calms the heart, it relieves anxiety, reduces menstrual cramping, relieves hot flashes, um, and, and, and any kind of heart palpitations or anything like that that sometimes come along with hot flashes. Um, and promotes menstruation. It also helps with, I meant to add, with um, delayed labor and delayed afterbirth, it helps with lochio too, which is like your, like the uterus secretions after birth, and sometimes they kind of go into when even the child has gotten older. So um, it helps with that as well. So Cherokee Indians, my family, used to use um, this also to help with nervous afflictions back in the day. So there's a long history with Mother Ward. Um, anyway, so I just want to add that. It works in the uterus, helps with the uterus, the kidneys, with digestion. There's been a lot of studies, like actual clinical studies with mother wart. Um, they did a test with people who had hypertension and who also were suffering with co-occurring disorders of depression and anxiety. And after 28 days of use of mother wart extract, they noticed significant to moderate decreases in their depression and their anxiety. So that. Yeah. So anyway, lion's wort is an excellent herb if you are dealing with um, any kind of nervousness or um, uh, issues in the uterus or pelvic area due to nervousness. So a lot of times, again, I go back to mothers carry a lot of roles and a lot of times the libido is impacted. Um, and also can, which also can show as pain in the pelvic area, especially during sex, this herb can help with alleviating the nervousness, which, which then helps alleviate the pain, the subsequent pain in the uterus. So it's definitely an herb to check out if you are dealing with any of these kinds of concerns. So um, you can also use it to help with just general anxiety and tension in the heart. But hey, I can always take a hug. So that's why I'm a big fan of mother's work. So anyway, take care y'all and we'll, We'll show you next how to mix it up um, and make your own tincture with it. Okay, take care.
Okay, so we are going to make a heart opening blend tincture. And I know I do a lot of teas um, and things like that, but I hardly ever just blend tinctures together, but you can totally do that. And you know, tinctures usually come in these kinds of bottles. Um, and you know, a lot of times um, we can get like single um, herb tinctures, which it'll be just like one herb, or you can get blends. And so we're going to do a blend of three herbs, um, including our herb of the week, motherwort. And this is one of my favorite um, um, manufacturers of the of the extracts, Gallon's Way. Um, yeah, they're awesome. Um, so anyway, we are going to do a heart opening tincture with mother's wart, mother wart. I was gonna say mother's wart, like some big wart, but anyway, but mother wart, astragalus which is really known for, um, it's a, well, first of all, it's wonderful for the immune system. This is like when people say like, oh, I take echinacea all the time for my immune system. Really, you should be taking a astragalus. Um, but anyway, but it's great for just general heart function and improving um, heart disease, if you're dealing with heart disease. And this is in, very important for mothers and black women because we are number one targets when it comes to cardiovascular disease, y'all. So we gotta watch our heart. Um, so that is a great herb for that. And then holy basil. Holy basil is a, um, an adaptogenic herb, meaning it works in all organs of the body to reduce the impact of stress on those organs. Because y'all, sometimes we don't really know that the, how the stress is really impacting us internally until we have a heart attack. Um, and so holy basil is known to protect the heart. It's known to help with, um, I wrote some of stuff down, help with stress, lowering stress, blood pressure, lowering blood pressure, lowering cholesterol, and leveling out blood sugar. So it's, which, you know, diabetes and high blood pressure typically go together, baby. So you gotta, um, those work together. But it's known heavily for its ability to increase joy and happiness in that heart. So what we are going to do is we've got an empty tincture bottle, and this is so much fun. This is just like literally, it's like just mixing, you know. And that, who doesn't like that? So we're going to do um, a. You got to get a measuring cup that gets down to the little, little, little milliliters. But we're going to do um, three milliliters of mother's wort because this is kind of the star of the show. Three liters of mother's wort. A little bit more. There we go. If I'm not messy with it, and we're just going to pour it in here. And then we are going to do two milliliters of holy basil. Yep. I'll just be checking to make sure that my phone, of course, my phone will just cut off in the middle of something and be like, what? Oh, who, me? I'll also be recording. Yes, you, babe. All right, so two milliliters of holy basil. And you can buy these things. You can buy them as individual herbs and make your own blend. I guess that's what I'm saying. It's like you can make your own. And we're gonna do two milliliters of astragalus. It's just important that you know your measurements. And that's why I'm telling you the recipe. You're gonna pour that in, yeah. And you always wanna use amber bottles when you're dealing with tinctures because these are all alcohol based. Um, and so it just helps protect it from the sun. Um, and heat and things like that. So you're gonna keep these in cool places. So you just wanna mix it up a little bit. That's it, just mix it up. And then the important thing is to label it because you will forget what is in this bottle tomorrow. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that you put what the name of this blend is, the date you made it, the ingredients, and then the instructions. So I'm asking if you're gonna take this, that you would do one to two milliliters twice a day, okay? And one milliliter is, pull this out real quick so you can see. One milliliter is, you know, this is a longer one, but it's up to here. So it's not one drop, it's one whole milliliter. So you wanna do one to two milliliters a day to help open up the heart chakra, but also improve your, um, the physical condition of your heart and the stress that might be on your heart. Anyway, that's your heart opening chakra recipe for today with Mother Wart. Take care, y'all.